Hello everyone, it's Patty. First of all, I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers on my channel. Since I've gotten a few more questions about my instrument, I thought I could make a little hurdy-gurdy tour and show you some of the features I have on my instrument. I have 12 strings and they all do different stuff. Three drone strings, the lower one is D. The middle one is a low C. And the upper one is G. I also have three melody strings. My lowest one is a G. Then the middle one is D. The highest one is another G. I have the keys here and when I pull them up, those little metal things shorten the string. I actually don't know what they're called in English, so if someone knows, please write that in the comments for me. <laughs> and for some girdies, these things are made from wood. Mine are made from metal with a, with a weird plastic around it. <laughs> the wheel on my girdie is made of a special kind of plastic too. So let's move on to my trumpet strings. These are the rhythm strings. This one is currently tuned to C, I think, but I also have a capo to D. When I play with my band on stage, I usually have this tuned to D so that I can change it to an E. Yeah, my second one is tuned in G and I can change it to A. So moving on to a few other features on my hurdy-gurdy. There is one very important thing that I want to show you and I recommend that everyone gets this on the hurdy-gurdy because it saves lives. <laughs> this feature is this little thing here. You just have two little screws down here and if you screw them up or down it actually changes the string pressure. Depending on the song I like to have more pressure or less pressure. Now the last kind of strings is the harmonic strings. People have different names for this as well. What I'm talking about is those four little strings down here. What they do is they are actually not attached to the wheel. They just vibrate as soon as I play a tone. If I play the G, you can hear it's resonating because I have a G string down here. Some hurdy-gurdies don't have those kind of strings at all. Some have lots of them, but I just have four and I have them tuned to the tones I play in the most. All right, let's continue with the technical part of my hurdy-gurdy. Since I play in a metal band, I need built-in microphones. I have three built-in microphones on this one. One is here, the other one is here, and the third one is down here so that I can amplify either the melody strings, the trumpet strings and the bass strings. Um, I can change the volume up here. Each of them has a volume button and then I have another volume button for all three of them. And I can amplify them using an XLR cable with phantom power. Now comes the question that I get asked the most. Which is, what the hell is this little screen on your Gertie? I think you're talking about this thing, right? This, people, is called a tuner. <laughs> With this awesome device, you can tune your instrument. I would recommend you all get a tuner to your hurdy gurdy because this is very important. <laughs> oh my god, I am in tune! <laughs> If you have questions why a tuner is important or if you have any other questions concerning the hurdy-gurdy or whatever else, please write your questions in the comments below and maybe I will answer your questions in the next video. I think that's it for today and uh, goodbye. See you next time.